To me, disclosure means freedom. Disclosure in the right setting can be enlightening and empowering. To me, disclosure means um, not holding anything back. It feels like I finally figured out who I am. I can let other people know who I am and I can be me. I've never disclosed um, where I afterwards thought, geez, I wish I hadn't done that. It has always been something that felt better afterwards. I had to learn really to be confident in myself and you know really understand who I was as a person um, and what, what the challenges I have as a part of my Asperger's are before you know I was really ready to be confident about disclosing to people. It's something that, that depending on the person could help or hurt. It's something that you don't really want everybody to know about because then they might think that they are, that confirm their beliefs that you are different in some ways. Right now I'm doing a web, web designer, web developer job, which I think suits me just fine. One person that I recently talked to was uh, my supervisor, the guy that I'm working with. I said, you see, I, you know, I look like a, you know, absolutely everyday normal person, but when it comes to social stuff, you know, I can have some problems. I can definitely blow up and I can definitely miscalculate when I'm talking to somebody about what is it that they're trying to say. Essentially, he said, well, I can definitely tell that and it's no big deal to me which was quite a relief to hear. In a work situation, you might be concerned that people might look at you differently, treat you differently. But in a relationship situation, if the person doesn't handle it right, then they're not the right person. And after I got divorced, I had to learn how to meet people. And I had several different experiences. Um, I had one woman I was dating who wanted to read everything she could find about Asperger's relationships. But she kind of put me in this box and said, here's this guy that has uh, Asperger's syndrome and I'm gonna you know, protect him and I won't, we won't go out anywhere where he'll be uncomfortable. And after a while, it just wasn't very good. And then I met Julie. We met online. We talked on the phone for a few days. Actually, at the end of our first date, I just said to her, I felt comfortable. I said, something I gotta tell you. It's not bad, you know, something I gotta tell you. And I have Asperger's syndrome. And she goes, oh, I thought it was gonna be something horrible. So it's been almost two years. We've been living together for four months. It's going pretty well. The biggest downsides I've seen around being open about a diagnosis is the issues with stereotypes. Um, so when you are initially starting to, that discussion, make sure to hit that right at the beginning. You can't make that your only identity because otherwise, no matter what you do, that, beco that becomes who you are. Yeah, I have autism, but I'm not autism. My past, when I wasn't confident to disclose to people, it was coming from a, an insecure place, a place where I wasn't proud to be someone with Asperger's. I was learning in my early uh, adulthood that there was a lot of stigma around different disabilities, and I really grappled with how to connect with others and and live a functional life but also have you know letting people know sometimes that I have these certain challenges associated with Asperger's. This isn't really a disability so to speak it's really just a different way of a uh, different wiring of the brain. I think before this I tended to divide stuff in my mind you know I'm not going to share that with anybody I'll talk about this and that barrier is pretty much gone now. You have nothing to lose by disclosing. Certainly not worth worrying about it. Worrying about it is bad. 